Nick speaking and welcome to this video rights uh, Necron learning curve so why choose Necrons well this is why I chose Necrons how cool is that picture it's fantastic I mean, even when I see it now after all this time I think it's just amazing and this is the picture that got me into Necrons I knew nothing about the rules but I just went in I saw this codex and that was it Necrons I just had to have them and um, when I bought this we were in uh, tail end of 3rd edition and boy were Necrons good then, they were fantastic I mean I used to play against Imperial Guard armies at the beginning and um, wow how many tanks did I take down, down each round of shooting, it was amazing um, but yeah Necrons, so we've evolved a bit, we're on this new current codex, it took us a long long time to get this and I have to say the picture on the front isn't particularly inspiring personally probably just because I love this picture so much uh, but when I was playing this this codex, uh, there was a Demon Hunter codex around, and it's, this sort of reminds me of the Demon Hunter codex. I don't know why, probably just the colours, maybe. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, so why should you choose to play Necrons? Well, Necrons are a really cool army to play. Um, they, when you're playing them at the beginning of the game, they are incredibly strong, incredibly powerful. Uh, my experience of many many years of playing Necrons is they start the game off incredibly well uh, which is good because uh, we have first blood we're very good at getting first blood um, towards the end of the game they tend to get a bit weaker so don't be surprised at the beginning of the game to be up looking like you're doing really really well and then right at the end of the game last couple of turns your warriors start getting sweet and uh, things can go terribly wrong at the end um, it's not so bad now because we don't have the phase out rule. I mean, in the old in the old book, 25% left. Oh, sorry, kill 75%. Once you get below 25%, your army phased out. I mean, it's not the case anymore. I can just have one warrior left standing on objective, and I can win. Um, but yes, it's worth you know just bearing that in mind that um, you know these guys, and the reason for that is basically they're not that great in close combat. I and mean, okay, we have some some good close combat units like the Wraiths of course I mean um, we're going to cover obviously each unit separately but yeah Wraiths pretty awesome in close combat especially with the Destroyer Lord there but we're primarily a shooting army um, the range of our shots has been reduced slightly than what we used to be I mean Destroyers uh, 36 inch range previously that sort of gone um, we're mainly a 24 inch army and okay we can move uh, now and shoot 24 inches with most of our stuff with the new rapid fire rules but it doesn't mean you're going to be 24 inches away from your opponent and everyone shoots 24 inches pretty much nowadays hopefully even the Aldar are going to go up to 24 inches rather than 18 <laughs> um, but yeah um, like I said really great army to play you have the option of going mech uh, with ghost arcs, annihilation barges, well potentially monolith um, if you're feeling brave. Um, but foot army also very very strong, very powerful. I mean it's warriors nowadays very cheap, 13 points. You can have 60 warriors easily in 17, 50 point army. Um, still have enough for a few other toys. So you've got lots of options. It's quite an aspiring army, especially if you like, uh, well not really robots are they, not really androids, but uh, soulless, robotic, silvery things. <laughs> okay, well I think you hopefully can uh, feel my passion for Necrons, I absolutely love them. And um, I plan to go through each unit as we uh, take a look through the codex, not that one, this codex. And um, after we stroll through each unit, I shall then go on to army lists and maybe more specific tactics and uh, just basically do a, a big series of videos like I did my Alda stuff. Now I'm not sure how quickly I'm going to do this because this is going to run alongside the Alda Codex release um, but it's going to happen so yeah keep watching and um, don't forget to like and share.